what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new youtube video in today's video guys we're going to be going over the launch of warren finance so right now it's 12 42 and it's almost been 24 hours since we launched so we're going to do a quick recap we're going to answer some very important questions that a lot of you have been asking in the telegram chat and i wanted to do a fresh bond and stake as well using a referral code that way i can make sure that everything ties in together and everybody understands exactly how to do it step by step now if you guys remember the last time that i made the video i told you guys i'm going to do a follow-up video show you exactly how i do it step by step so that it's clearer and you guys have a video that you can watch every single time to make sure that everything goes as smooth as possible all right guys so let's not make this video longer than it has to be it's going to be a quick how-to video and faq if you guys have any questions on Honestly, please leave them in the comment section below. I read my comments all the time. I'll be able to help you out. You can just DM me anytime later on. All right, guys. So let's jump in. All right, guys. So let's get started. And before we jump into the Warren website, I just want to give you two different methods that I like to take my money from uh, different blockchains all the way to pulse chain because that's where warren.finance is right so if you want to bridge from the binance smart chain if you want to bridge from base chain if you want to bridge from ethereum mainnet all you have to do click the link in the description for change now so i'm going to leave this link and the other link right after that i'm going to discuss in a few seconds change now is going to allow you to bridge your tokens from different blockchains all the way to pulse chain and it can do it vice versa as well you can go from pulse chain if you want to 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 binance smart chain to ethereum mainnet and so on and so forth right so all you have to do is for example a lot of the people that follow me they use bnb right so we go ahead and select bnb and then you select all the tokens from here from this list that you would like to receive on the other blockchain and then you see over here that it tells you in the small real rectangle here what chain you're going to this is ethereum this is trx tron uh, tron 20 binance smart chain but it doesn't make sense to do bnb to bnb right uh, ripple solana like all these things like they're gonna give you which wallet you want to receive these tokens on and you'll receive them without any issue right so typically what i like to do is always uh, transfer my bnb to pulse chain so i go ahead and write pulse chain and you'll see the pls token appear and then it tells you if you want to if you want to transfer 10 bnb it's going to give you a specific amount but i think 10 bnb is too much they won't do it let's say 1 bnb right 1 bnb is like 4 million pls tokens then you can go ahead and make that swap right you click on exchange it gives you these steps right at the bottom here it tells you which wallet address you would like to choose so you would choose the address that you want the pulse tokens to appear on so technically in your case right now it would be the pulse tokens appearing in the same wallet address that you would like to use on warren.finance right so i would put my wallet here you would confirm this transaction and then on the following page let's let's say i go ahead and paste my wallet and i click on confirm right then it would allow you to it would give you this page right so it tells you you have to transfer one bnb to this specific address so you would copy this send it from your metamask or from your rabi wallet you send exactly one bnb because if you send more or less you might not get a proper transaction you send one bnb and then at the bottom here you see that it's telling you that it's awaiting the deposit once it receives your bnb it's going to start confirming make sure it's legit exchange it for you and sending it back to you so this process typically takes between three minutes to 10 minutes i've been using this protocol for months and only one time it took me a few hours but any other time, it usually takes between 3 minutes to 10 minutes. So you just have to have patience and just track it here. Just like you would track your Pizza Hut delivery uh, or, you know, whatever. Pizza, pizza delivery. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the first method that I usually go ahead and use. And if you guys want to get started with bridging your tokens, please use the link in the description below. And then it's going to be seamless and done within 10 minutes. Now, in the case of my video today, I already have USDC on pulse chain i just want to swap it for some pulse tokens right and a lot of you guys have been having issues with uh the new decentralized aspect of pulse x the main DeFi dex right 
on Pulse Chain. So what I like to do in this case is use SparkSwap because SparkSwap, if you go to the, okay, so this is the main website of SparkSwap. We haven't really spoken about SparkSwap before, but they've been here for many months and they've been killing it because they have 6 million TVL right now. The APRs are not the best, but you don't need the best APRs to make sure to get a lot of money. And for the from the bridge that they have from a bunch of other stuff that they have it just looks like this project this project is here to stay for a long time and aj is a great guy and he's done everything to the t uh, to what he uh claimed he was gonna do so listen i'm i'm gonna be talking about spark swap in the future but for now all i'm gonna be doing is doing a trade right so you go ahead and click on trade and click on exchange you're going to be greeted with this tab over here. Now, if you click on this token, you see there's a bunch of tokens that you can choose from. And um, gladly for me, USDC is part of those, but you can do EHEX, you can do HEX, INC. Most of the tokens that you need to zap your tokens in Warren.Finance are available over here, right? So I go ahead and click on USDC. I make sure that my ledger is open. Perfect. So my ledger is connected right now. I'm going to go ahead and swap that for Pulse tokens, right? And um, what I want to do is I'm going to do the whole 500 and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the bonding and the staking. So we're going to be getting 9,276,690 Pulse tokens. Click on swap. So I'm going to be charged $2 of fees, which is completely fine for me. Sometimes it's worth it because I have something that's much more user friendly than other platforms i just go ahead and use it especially right now that spark swap is making it much easier so we don't have to think twice about pulse x and downloading something on your desktop decentralization is making it a lot more difficult if it's not just on a website right so as you guys can see it took literally seconds and my swap of 499 usdc to 9 million 270,000 pulse tokens has gone through all right so next step we go to warren.finance now this is the page that you guys are usually going to be greeted on okay but as you guys can see i have the pulse tokens but they're not showing up as die wpls lps because we need to create those lps and in other platforms what would happen is they would tell you that you would have to go to pulse x or you would have to go to pancake swap or you would have to go to uniswap and create your own lp but what warren has done for us is much more user friendly and much more convenient and this is what i love about this protocol right so they allowed the zap feature now the zap feature is gonna allow you to deposit your pulse tokens and it's going to create the die wpls lp token for you you don't have to think twice about it right so i go ahead the first step that i do when i get here i approve the contract it's still pending it's still pending so let's just give it a minute perfect transaction confirmed you see the to the the button over here at the bottom approve is switched to get tokens right away a lot of people have been saying that they haven't seen the get tokens appear right away and i'm not sure exactly what is happening on computer on laptop it happens flawlessly without any issues so i would suggest you clear your cache hard refresh your page and it should appear if you're on mobile then they're currently working on that not showing up we don't know exactly why it's showing up, why it's not appearing properly on mobile but they're working on it okay so just be patient for now if you want to get started just use your computer your laptop everything should be okay okay so the next step would be to zap our lps but before doing so i'm actually gonna put in the wallet address that i want my referrals to go to right so um let's say for example i'm with my best friend my best friend uh is the person who helped me get started with warren.finance i want to reward him for giving me this opportunity to get two percent two percent per day what i'll do is i'll put his wallet address over here and he's going to be getting 2.5 percent of my deposit of my rebond of everything that i do basically on the platform i don't think sell but everything that has to do with depositing stuff on the platform okay so i'm gonna put the referral address of the person that wants me uh, that, that that i want to connect my wallet to and you have to keep in mind that once you put somebody's wallet in here it's locked right so you can't change it from time to time it's going to be locked and that person is always going to get your rewards as long as you use this particular wallet 
All right, so the wallet address is inputted right over here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click on Zap LP. Now this is where your pulse tokens are gonna be of value, right? So what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna zap my LPs right away, but you have to keep in mind that you need to keep some pulse tokens in your wallet for some gas fees, right? You need to make sure you have some gas fees. Now, what I like to do is go on pulse chain on coin market cap, and I like to estimate at least uh maybe let's say five dollars right estimate five dollars at the bottom left you'll see there's a converter right so five dollars is equal to 862 sorry eighty six thousand two hundred and sixty six tokens so i'm gonna subtract that from the amount that i have as part of my pulse in the wallet so as you guys can see right now i have nine million three hundred and four thousand six hundred and sixteen pulse tokens so we go ahead and write 9304716.42 minus $5 of pulse tokens. So this is the amount of tokens that I can use to ensure that I have the LPs that I need for this process, right? And to ensure that I have enough pulse tokens in my wallet. Perfect. So we go ahead and click on, oh, let's see, can we do 1%? Maybe we can do 1%. Zap, waiting for approval. You have to approve it with your MetaMask or your Rabi, sorry. Transaction submitted. Let's see if it goes through. Transaction confirmed. Here we go, guys. Everything is working flawlessly. So you click away. And what I like to do in this case is just wait a few seconds and then you'll see your tokens appear right away. Now, it's important to know that it's going to ask you to approve the contract again if you do it this way. So just go ahead and approve it because you know what? Why not? If you want to avoid approving it, maybe zap the LPs first and then go ahead and approve the contract. I'm just going to go ahead and approve again because now we have DAI WPLS and it's probably asking you to approve that new LP amount, right? Okay, so that was approved. You see, get tokens appeared again. In my case right now, I don't want to do max tokens, right? And you see, when we click on max, what used to happen before is the decimals used to be entered here. But what the team did is because a lot of people were getting issues, right? This is one of the issues that everybody was, was getting. Every time they click on max, it wasn't allowing you to stake or to bond most of your uh, LPs. It's because the decimals were not being recognized by the contract, by PulseX and as a, as a backend. So this really is going to make it a lot easier going forward. If you guys wanna click on max, you can go ahead and do so. But I don't wanna create a max bond. I wanna make sure to create a stake, right? So I wanna use the DAI WPLS LPs in order to bond and stake. And I wanna maximize on that stake as much as I can. So Max did us the honor and created a strategy for us to follow, right? So in order for me to maximize on this 493, I'm gonna go ahead and follow this strategy. Maximizing bond and stake math calculation. Thank you so much, Max. Actually, this makes it so much easier for everybody, right? Many of you have questions regarding maximizing bond and stake calculations, so let's give this an example. Suppose you have $1,000. In my case, I have 493, but 1,000 just makes it easier to calculate. And you wanna stake this amount into Warren Finance. If you wanna do a 30-day stake, you use these values. If you wanna do a 40-day stake, you use these values, right? So I'm gonna be following the 40-day stake, but it's the same kind of concept if you wanna do 30-day stake, because I wanna do 40 days. Right, I want to do 40 days because it gives me the maximum amount of return um, for this process. So if we follow the 40 day stake, this is what we do. We use a zapper to get the amount of DAI WPLS LPs, which I have them right here. Use 41% of those LPs for a 40 day bond, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We have 33,429 LPs. So we go ahead and click that over here, multiplied by 0 0.41, which is 41%. This gives us 13,705 LP tokens, right? And the reason why I'm using this strategy is because automatically what's gonna happen over here is 
you're going to put in $202, but it's automatically going to be giving you the 40% that you've required, right? When you do that strategy, it's going to add the 40% to your 100% off the bat. So the staking has to reflect that extra amount in your bond and in your stake right so technically i have to use the remaining amount of the thirty-three thousand to create my stake so i'm going to subtract the thirteen thousand from it right okay so going back to the strategy use 41 percent of those lps for a 40-day bond which will give you another 40 percent of warren tokens so essentially use 410 to create 574 dollar bond okay so it just adds you that 40 percent in my case, it added it over here. So we're going to go ahead and make sure the referral wallet is here. The 40 days is selected and then we click on get tokens. So as you guys can see, my 13,705 is going to create a bond of 19,185. So it gives you that 40% right off the bat. Okay, now you go at the bottom and you can see that your warrant tokens are entered over here. Your warrant amount, your warrant die PLS amount, everything is here as as normal right everything is perfect perfect now you have left 19,724 die wpls tokens in your wallet now if you guys notice carefully i have a die pls amount of 19,187 and i have 19,724 which gives me just enough margin to have some extra die wpls if i want to use for the next time right so we go ahead and go to the stake and you guys can see over here the staking tab is a little bit different right so let's just read this quickly use the remaining 590 worth of die wpls lps to stake your bond so we go ahead over here and we can see that the beautiful number is 359,000 TVL locked right now, which is crazy. Congratulations, everybody. We have 351,000 TVL and it's beautiful, right? So you select your bond. You go ahead and select the bond that you chose just now. And you see that bond is $283. You match it with an equivalent amount of die wpls which is also going to be 283 dollars and then you click on stake a bond go ahead and approve it with your wallet so this is going to take your bond and stake it for you right so this is something you have to keep in mind it's taking your bond staking it for you it no longer mm -hmm. is a bond and now what's going to happen is you have a bond of Three thirty thirty eight thousand three hundred and seventy one Warren. That's going to stake for an income of a hundred and seventy five percent. So now you went from one hundred and forty percent to one hundred and seventy five percent, right? And you see it appears over here. So I have a stake of this amount of Warren. It's been staked for zero days. I'm getting eight hundred and seventy one Warren tokens per day, right? So let's say we do this per day and the token warren is 0 0.01477 so this is 12 dollars 86 per day that you have multiple options for you can either come here and rebond it every day every 24 hours you can let it accumulate and then claim it at the end of the 175 you can sell it daily it's really up to you at that point you can do whatever you want right now, if you go back to the bond tab, you notice that your bond disappeared from here, which is completely normal because as soon as you create a stake, your bond is basically invalid at that point. It gets swept away into the staking tab. Now, uh, before we go ahead and leave, I have remaining amount of die WPLS LPs in my wallet. I can choose to bond it or I can just leave it there for the next time that I would like to come here and bond another stake. All right, guys, so that pretty much concludes today's video. If you guys wanna get started, the link to get started is in the description down below. Please go ahead and join the protocol. It's so much fun. We have 352,000 TVL in less than 24 hours, which is beautiful. And the pre-sale tokens have not been in yet, right? And for everybody who is actually in the pre-sale in the uh, seed round, 
Pulse X has a lot of congestion right now. It's not our fault. It's just Pulse X. They have a lot of congestions. So they are the team is actually sending those um, bonds out today, hopefully. But it's just taking a bit longer than expected. So please have patience. It's going to be there. You guys are going to be rewarded with an extra 5% uh, for the delays. Uh, but it's going to be an extra 5% on ground level. So you should be completely fine. Uh, and then it's going to be broken up into two different bonds. So you can choose to stake, choose, choose to leave it bond it's really up to you okay guys so that pretty much wraps up the video before we get going i just want to play this beautiful song by defi d's because it's about warren so let's end the video with this right here On Warren, 175% on Warren. Moonshot Max on Warren. The Nomad on Warren. Map that daps on Warren. I'm a compound in the morning. Cause I've been printing that Warren. I got bones on Warren. Big bad backs on Warren. 175% on Warren. Moonshot Max on Warren. The Nomad on Warren. Map that daps on Warren. I'm a compound in the morning. Cause I've been printing that Warren. I got bones on Warren. Fork liquidity injections all from the contract. 175 percent for the little state. Yeah, Warren got that. Time is money, and you wasting time just for the man. You better cop that. Rabbit wallet, Paul Chain Network is long gas. I'ma swap that. I am the king of the web three when it comes to the music. They ain't fucking with me. Got Warren, got balls, money free. I go soft for song with whoever got ease. Cause a nigga like me trying he been doing this shit since I was trapping in the streets. But now I make money while I sleep. Good looks to the project like Warren, money free. I'm a bad market survivor. I'm a liquidity provider. I didn't big rug, it was major pain, but I got it back. It was hella gains. I'm a bad market survivor. I'm a liquidity provider. I didn't big rug, it was major pain, but I got it back. It was hella gains. Big bad backs on Warren, 175% on Warren. Moonshot Max on Warren. The Nomad on Warren. Map that daps on Warren. I'm a compound in the morning. Cause I've been printing that Warren. I got bonds on Warren, big bad backs on Warren, 175% on Warren, Moonshot Max on Warren, the no man on Warren, Map that daps on Warren, I'm a compound in the morning, cause I've been printing that Warren, I got bonds on Warren, Moonshot Max on Warren, the no man on Warren, Map that daps on Warren, I'm a compound in the morning.